Hello guys, so uh, today I'll be talking about the new uh, aspect ratios on the thumbnails of Roblox. So basically, to summarize today, uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the good and the bad side of the thumbnails on Roblox. So first of all, let's talk about the negative aspect, like why these thumbnails are bad. Uh, the first most obvious thing is they take up more space. As you can see here, we can fit six of the normal square thumbnails in a row. We can only fit four of four of the sixteen uh, nine ones. But that's uh, so that's what most people are complaining about. Uh, not only that, not only that, you can also notice how uh, compared to the square thumbnails, you can't see as much info inside these thumbnails. You can see you can only see uh, how many people actually like the game. You can't really see how much people are currently playing it or any other stuff another negative aspect about this change is you used to be able to see like your friends and your continue bar like at the top here but now the first thing you see is the recommend for you so if you want to see your friends uh, if they're currently online or if you're like or if like uh what things you want to continue you have to like actually you have to like actually scroll down in order to see so that's uh, kind of a hassle trying to scroll down every single time in order to find your friends. Now time to talk about the good aspect of this. So one of the most obvious things is you can show more in your thumbnail. Like used to be only you used to be able to only show like this much, but now you can show this much. Which is a lot and it can tell more about your game. So if you're a developer, it's pretty good for game discovery. Speaking of game discovery, another good change is how you can't see how many people are playing it. Now this could be a bad thing because you can see what games are dead but something that drives a lot of people away from roblox games is how many people are currently playing it like there can be a really good horror game but if like 50 people are currently playing it you probably won't join so since uh especially in the recommended for you it won't show you how many people are currently playing it so like a dream you've had before i know there's probably like one person playing it right now but i wouldn't know that because it doesn't show it like in the home page so this is also good for game discovery. Oh, there's actually 42. More than I expected. There's also another positive about this, which is since uh, you won't see your friends as the top thing, the first thing you'll see is recommended for you, which is great for game discovery because you can see what like games are recommended to you first. So you can discover new games. Like uh, I know I already played Gus and Black Pad before, but it's pretty cool to see it over here, especially with this new thumbnail. Uh, also. Got some guesses some games I've never played before, like Aftermath, which looks pretty cool. Uh, Parasite, which also looks pretty cool. Road Revolution, pretty cool. Uh, Color Place, which looks like horrible. Anyways, uh, yeah. And I would say the recon the recommend for you bar is actually pretty accurate. It's it's recommending some like war, backrooms, liminal space games, which is actually stuff I I enjoy. So, so you hope this change like your perspective on things a bit. Try not to hate on Roblox that much. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, that's all for this one.